Hi, welcome back to Linux. Today we're going to look at installing WPS Office. So what is WPS Office and how do you get it installed? First thing we're going to do is, well, we're going to look for it. When you install the Linux Mint from the get-go, it comes with uh, this weird search. In fact, if you do a search here and you look for something like WPS Office, it's going to uh, go through Yahoo and Yahoo uh, often gives you erroneous results, unfortunately. So I'd recommend using DuckDuckGo, StartPage, Bing, Google, something that is reliable. But here we are. We're using a fresh install on bare hardware of Linux Mint 19.3, and we're going to WPS Office. So we're going to go over and choose Download here. Over here, you see a download for Windows, Mac, this Office, Office for Linux right there. We're going to say, yeah, sure, we'll check that out. What's this Office 2016? We can open that in a new window. You can maybe open that new window. But we're going to go ahead and choose Download for the uh, Office 2019 for Linux. So we're going to choose Download. We can scroll down that page to see what's there. We'll choose Download there. Now, there may be some fonts that you may want to download in, uh, on top of the WPS Office, so that's a possibility. Now, as this is, well, as we're waiting here, there we go. We're going to choose a deb package, the Debian package, because we do use the Debian package manager in Linux Mint, and we are running a 64-bit on this system. So I'm going to choose for Linux 64. All right. Now, you can just go ahead and choose open with the GDebi package installer, and we'll just go with that. You'll see up here, it'll tell you how long the, uh, the download has to take, and it's going to uh, go ahead and download that for us, and it says it's gonna take an hour and 13 minutes, which, uh, wow, that is 91 kilobytes per second. That's kind of strange, there we go. I don't know what was clouding our, our, our system there, but it looks like we're speeding up a little bit. So after we download this, then it's going to pop up with a little menu in the middle of the screen, and we'll just choose Install. All right, so as uh, the package is downloaded, it'll open up this package installer notice. It says WPS Office there. All dependencies are satisfied. If you want to look at the details, you can. You can look through their little settings, whatever they put in their details. You can, put, you can look at the included files. Those are the files that will be put in your system. Notice it will be writing to opt. So we'll be putting uh, your files in opt there, kind of a maybe a system five carryover. And uh, we have description here. It tells you, talk, talks about the description. This is a fantastic Office suite for people who are used to Microsoft Office, but you're using Linux and you don't want to spin up a virtual machine or you don't want to bring up a, a Windows environment um, like Wine or play on Linux or crossover Office and actually install Microsoft Office on your PC. So this one is uh, WPS Office, so I'm going to go ahead and choose Install. It uh, should prompt me for a password there. Right there, good, it does. And we're installing the, uh, the file. So once this gets installed, it'll create some icons on our desktop, and we'll go ahead and look at that, and, uh, and that'll be it. Now, it's not a complete replacement for Microsoft Office, Microsoft Office is actually a fantastic suite of utilities. The Word, PowerPoint, and Excel are fantastic utilities. Um, given I don't use Excel a lot, I use Numeric usually. Um, and, but PowerPoint and uh, Word are extraordinary, and that's because of their incorporation into a lot of third-party tools like Mendeley, so you can pull in bibliographies and other things. So we've got the same versions already installed. It says that once it installs something, and we do not need to reinstall the package. So we can close that now, and I can just pop over to another window. And now you'll see on my desktop, I've got those different utilities. So I can go ahead and double-click WPS Writer. It says, do you want to join the experience? I'm going to say yes, because this is a laboratory PC. I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, go ahead and do that. It says, do you want to update? I'm going to say, uh, maybe next time. And some formula symbols may not be displayed correctly due to missing fonts, and so it's telling us that there's some fonts missing. Um, yeah, we should get those. We should install those kind of things, and, and we'll try to get those later. 
but this is it. It's a new document. You'll see this looks very familiar. Uh, the styles here are really simplistic. So if you have the title and you want to make a heading or something of this sort, and we go over and change this to a title and change that to a heading, you'll see it is, uh, do we have anything more than that? That's about it right there. It's, it's a little bit limited, but it does have a lot of the, uh, the features that you would expect to find in a very nice, uh, a very nice office suite. So if you want to go through and try to use this, it's a great solution. And, uh, I, you know, I encourage people to use this to write their documents. It's a great way to just pop out a document in Linux. If you're not doing something that's hundreds of pages along with a lot of references that you want in cooperation with Mendeley, and there are a lot of very specific formatting options that you have to follow. Um, this one will create great documents for you. So there you go. That is it. Save changes. No, we got a spreadsheets and presentation there. So you can get to this. If you notice in the menu, when we go up, WPS Office is, these are highlighted a little bit. So they're a little bold, more bold than others are. So we go into WPS Writer right there. Let's use next time and close. And now we go over here and go to WPS Office. You'll see that WPS Office Writer is no longer bold. So that's a neat little feature that you'll see in there. If you ever want to do a search, of course, you just do WPS and that, those kind of things up or Writer, etc. Okay, that's WPS Office. Easy to install. Download it from the site and say, yeah, go ahead and install it once it's downloaded and choose next, next, next. And there it is. Hope this is helping out and feel free to post comments anytime.